So this is day one of our hip dysplasia journey with our pelvic harness. We got our little Max, who's 10 weeks old, fitted with his harness yesterday afternoon. Um, so today is full day one and already learning a lot about how life is going to be very different now with this harness. He doesn't seem too bothered by it yet. I think it's probably quite snuggly for him. It keeps him in a nice froggy position. Definitely more traumatic for us. Um, weirdly, he slept last night the best he'd slept ever. Um, and there's us over here barely being able to eat, have stress tummy and all stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to be trying to share some tips, a bit of our journey. Um, we're going to be on this road for three months, I think. Hopefully not too much longer, maybe less. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some pictures. I'll um, show a little video um, and just keep you updated with what we're learning and how we're doing. So I've already been really surprised with the lack of um, recent information about hip dysplasia um, or just generally day-to-day -day stuff with the harness. Um, Millie McIntosh, who was on Made in Chelsea all those years ago, her daughter actually had one last year um, and that's the first time I'd ever really heard or seen of one. I think she'd done a lot in terms of bringing... Um, it to the forefront as it was all over her instagram and stuff like that but aside from that there's there's barely anything um clothes uh, from what i've seen marks and spencers are the only place um like high street place that do clothes um that are adapted to fit uh, over or around the harness um but such limited um things a couple of vests a couple of baby grows a couple of pairs of trousers if you can find them in your size um but not much when you're thinking, you know, baby is sick, poos, you know, if you need to shove a couple of items in a washer day, then you're really short on things. Um, and seasonally, it's a bit limited. I don't know if he's even going to be able to wear like a snowsuit or something like that when it's really cold. Um, for anyone that hasn't seen a little harness before, it goes under clothes. So it goes over the arms, round um like where the chest is and then round the legs so it's got little booties on it um but the feet are somewhat exposed so you need to get i think big socks to put on it especially at this time of year you can't leave them without any socks um and usually i've got an 18 month old as well i'd dress him with like an under vest and then a, a regular vest and i haven't seen any under vests that are suitable so maybe i have to get some jumpers or something like that i've no idea i have to have a look my elder one oh, my elder one might have some um clothes that are too big for max now um that might actually just fit over just because they're extra large so i'll um have to see